All right, welcome in, guys. All right, well. As we got throwing on the wheel 101 today that we are going to really just get you guys some fast, easy tips to throwing on the wheel and making it centered on here, which can be a struggle. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go through most of my steps right-handed as my stronger hand putting on top. But if you're left-handed, you would just put um, a little bit opposite. Sometimes I do them both at the same time. First thing, as I say, it's called throwing. Only literal throwing part you do is throwing it on the middle as centered as you can, as close as you can to the middle. What I want to do then is I want to get my sponge, these sponges, probably work the best I want to get it a little bit wet right away and it kind of makes a funny sound as you kind of step on the pedal the pedal spins just naturally you don't have to kind of go up and down as I just get wet on my hands you're gonna get very messy with this um so kind of get used to that so I'm kind of pushing I'm kind of pushing down and over so sometimes I use both hands to kind of cup it right towards the center in the middle and you can already see it's pretty good i can feel a little bit of bump you really don't want any of that texture you want it to be really smooth so that's why just like with building clay something that's not too dry but not too wet you kind of want to find a happy medium between those some people um just like to kind of sculpt it with this tool or with any of the tools that we have over here but i always feel like just to get a first start of it um it's easiest just to do it with your hands and kind of get your hands all messy and dirty so again I'm trying to push this as much as I can right towards the middle and down so I don't feel any of those bumps. Now right here I can kind of feel a bump, so I'm going to kind of push that out. I can feel it kind of wobbling and sometimes you just got to know when to kind of give up. And to retry, it's pretty good but you can see it's a little bit lumpy. Go back, kind of refocus, get my sponge a little bit wet and then kind of start again. push down and, and as I'm kind of cupping my hand this way and pushing in towards it. So I feel like I got a pretty strong one right now. Again, I want to keep that moisture on there, but this is kind of where I start my students off. I like to show them this and then get them on the wheel where they can kind of apply some pressure and use some of these different tools. So now that I have this part, I'm going to go through real quick and I'm going to try to design and sculpt a little clay pot super fast. Okay, so now I added a little bit of detail, uh, a little bit more detail, I should say, on the bottom and edges, and now the fun and satisfying part is taking it off. So I'm gonna take my wire, uh, make sure it's nice and clean, kind of wrap it around a couple times, just so I can push it really, really firm on the bottom. I gave myself a little bit of an edge, and boom! Gonna turn it a little bit just to get under it nice. Make sure this is nice and cleaned off as best as I can to get it nice and flat and get under there. And then just give it a scoop. Just like that. And awesome. Looks really, really nice. So I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so here is what it looks like now. I thought it turned out really nice. I sculpted a little bit on the bottom on that. Looks really clean and it's all dried out now. My kids are starting to work and starting to build some cool ones. So now their next step is to go into the kiln. They will come out looking a little bit more like this, a little bit more solid. And then we still have to paint them and put them back in there so that they can look like this. So it's a very long process, but a very, very fun one um, that kids really always look forward to. In here. So as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. We'll talk to you guys later.